Hey guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and happy new year. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Poly Gel Press by Tess. My name is Tessa or you can call me Tess. Um, um, welcome. So normally on my channel I have DIY poly gel nail tutorials like lazy girl method, double bead method, how to apply poly gel, you know, from the beginning to the end so I am a beginner <clears throat> so if you're also a beginner and looking to like get some tips and tricks on how to apply poly gel at home then this is your channel um, but like I said I have had a nail allergy so I have been doing a few other things here and there like I did color my hair so I am going to be doing a few other things like that possibly a makeup tutorial I'm not sure if I want to put my naked face out there so maybe just like let's like do my eyeshadow or something like that so, so if that's something that you guys are interested in I hope you hit that subscribe button down below and hang out with me today we are having a nail tutorial so um, yes so, and it's I had a lot of fun making this video and doing these nails um, yeah I just want to thank all of my subscribers I have taken the time to hit that subscribe button down below you guys are so amazing I appreciate every single one of you and if you're new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell so you don't forget any excuse me so you don't miss any future videos um, yeah what's up guys I'm not having a wonderful day it's I've had a flare-up so if I sound like I'm tired and don't feel good it's because I don't so bear with me but um I am just starting on prepping her nails I did a soak off I didn't record that because you know it's actually such a long process when you're soaking off poly gel but this was her set before we always end up losing her left hand pinky nail because she damaged it when she was 16 years old at the grocery store and ripped her nail like completely off like all the way the whole nail her natural nail everything came off and it's like really tiny and so sometimes um when she's really rough with her hands she's a bar excuse me she's a barber and she doesn't wear gloves when she cleans and she is a clean freak. She's always scrubbing walls and scrubbing floorboards and scrubbing doors. And I tell her to wear gloves, but she's just so not used to all of that. And like I say, we argue a little bit about her apex. She hates how nails are thick like that and she wants them to be thin, but I tell her the longer you go, you have to have an apex or they will break. So, you know, how besties can be, I love her. But anyways, she knows the repercussions of having them a little bit thinner. <clears throat> Excuse me. So anyways, um, yeah. Um, but her dogs did rip her nails off twice. And this is right here, her middle and her ring finger. They were affected the most um, on her hands when the dogs did that. They literally drug her down the street. Like, it was awful. Like, she cried. It was horrific so and her dog one of her dogs is huge he is a bernadoodle and a hound mix and he, he looks like a great dane like he's so big and you see this this pinky is the one that got damaged and you can tell it, it grows different it doesn't grow normal it kind of like is grows up at a at an angle because of the damage to her nail matrix such a long time ago so anyways i'm just going in with some dehydrator right here and two layers of primer always two layers of primer also I'm going to be having a giveaway once I hit 500 subscribers, so don't miss out on that. Make sure you share my YouTube, let people know, you know, that once she reaches 500, I'm going to give both of those kits away to one of you lucky gals, one of my lucky subscribers. I am just going to choose one of you at random. So I just want to give back to my amazing community. I love all of you so much and all the support you guys have shown me. Um, I really wanted to give up a few times, but because of all of my amazing subscribers and my amazing community, I you guys have like kept me going and given me so much more, you know, like confidence and not to give up because of my allergy. Like I truly appreciate every single one of you. Like you don't even know. So anyways, um, as you saw, I just prepped her um, nails and applied tips with base coat and you always want to make sure to do a full cure after you do your flash cure and then I cut them down to the size that she um, you know the length that she wants and I'm just gonna go ahead and shape up to the coffin shape that she likes and then I'll pop right back up
So while we were sitting here, um, I had asked her, we were talking about something and I, I always quote movie lines. Like if you know me, I'm a goober, I'm annoying, I'm goofy. I'm like, I'm always quoting some stupid line from some stupid movie. So she tells me she's never seen Death Becomes Her and I literally, my jaw dropped to the floor because she has been my best friend since I was 13. She's a couple years older than me, but I was like, what? I'm all, I mean, if you know me, that is my movie. That's my type of jam. So we found it, we were watching it. It was like, it was so funny. Um, so if you've never seen that movie, you guys definitely need to check it out. It's with Meryl Streep, um, Goldie Hawn and Bruce Willis. It's like back, you know, like in the nineties, 80, 90 90s, something like that. So anyways, I'm just going in with my regular sanding band and taking the shine off of the nail tip and blending it into her nail bed. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with dehydrator again and two layers of primer. So I always do it this way. I always dehydrate and prime the nail when I put the nail tip on and then I do it again after I you know, blend it in and do everything because you basically file it off and it gets dirty. So you'll have to always do dehydrator and primer again. And remember two coats of primer and let it dry at least 30 seconds in between coats. So now I'm going in with base coat and you want to do a full cure. So in your LED lamp, if you have an LED lamp, it's going to cure faster than a UV lamp. So when you see me, um, have the little text popped up, it's just so you, um, you know, I know some people have um, problems with like still being gummy and sticky and not having it fully cured. So I always try to um, remind people that are watching um, that if you have an LED lamp, it's not going to be as long as the UV lamp. So, um, and sometimes you just wanna do like a double cure in a UV lamp, in my opinion. Your wattage also matters. My wattage for my lamp is 120 watts. So she doesn't have to keep her hands in there for too, too long. So anyways, I'm going in with another layer of base coat and I am going to use this to, you know, I'm using this to adhere the um, Mylar flakes and then I'm going to cap with clear. So um, I'm just gonna let you watch me do this and I'll pop back up in just a few. Okay, so I always go in with like a thin layer um, of clear when I cap and then I go in with like another bead to do like, you know, the apex. So I'm using Gershon clear and I know that I just did a review, right? And I was like raving about their um, slip solution. And I always thought the slip solution that I use was just like so amazing. It worked with every poly gel, but it does not work with this clear poly gel or acryl gel from Savvy Land. It doesn't work with any clear anything, only McCart's clear. So I decided, like you can see me struggling like with the end, it, it just like separates like really weird. It, it doesn't like stay together. Like my, my slip solution that I normally buy from Sally's separates this um, clear poly gel from Gershon. And I really love Gershon's clear poly gel because I think it's really crystal clear. So anyways, um, I decided after getting super frustrated with doing, you know, these two nails that I was going to just use my Gershon slip solution. I was trying to like save it just because I think it's really good. And it is like, you can see the difference when she goes in and cures this and comes back and I do the second bead. Like it's like butter. I trip out. I was all, what the hell? I was like, how is this? It's just like a magical formula. It's a magical solution. I don't know what it is, but Gershon's slip solution is now my absolute favorite slip solution. So anyways, I mean, come on, you can see just like how much easier it was for me to float that bead over the top of her nail. It was just like, it wasn't even a struggle. It was just like, whew. so anyways, um, I'm going to continue to let you watch me uh, finish this and I'll pop back up in just a sec. So this shade that I'm using is one of the shades from the Savvy Land kit that I won from their giveaway. Um, I love this shade. It is such an adorable pink shade. I like how it's not too bright, but it's not too muted of a pink. Like it's not too soft. It's just the right softness. 
So anyways, as you saw, I used the slip solution for and it and it literally was like butter, like dragging that bead down. It was so easy. It's so satisfying. Sorry. <laughs> like I need to buy their slip solution in bulk because I don't know if I ever want to go back to any other slip solution. Like, thank you, Sally Hansen, but Mm -mm. <laughs> so anyways um yeah i'm just gonna let you watch me uh, finish uh, this up and uh, i do leave my hand filing in so i will pop up um when it's time to file So I'm popping up before the filing. I decided to leave the thumb in. I usually don't ever record me doing the thumb. I don't know why it just becomes like, you know, just so many fingers and I, I do everything for my phone. So when I record, I like stop in between. So it's not like I'm recording in the entire like time. I have to do it that way because of like the space in my phone. So anyways, I did leave um, the thumb in, yay. Okay, so we're done. I went in with my alcohol spray and I wiped off the tacky layer. Don't forget to do that every time because if you do, you start filing, your file will get gummy, it's disgusting. So just always make sure to remove the tacky layer with either your slip solution or some alcohol spray. Do not use acetone or anything like that because you will make it soft it just you're not supposed to use it so i know i see some people using acetone and i just i wouldn't so um anyways uh i'm just gonna let you watch me do my hand filing it's super simple um i've gotten pretty good at applying the beads to where i don't necessarily need to use my e-file for bulkness because it's not that bulky so i'm just going in and um crisping up you know everything i did mess up on her right hand middle finger so i had to like do a little patch job i'm not a professional i am not perfect i am a beginner so anyways don't come after me <laughs> like i'm still learning so you know i do make mistakes often um but anyways yeah i'm gonna let you watch me finish this up and i'll pop back up towards the end
so I do use my e-file for a second here. I actually totally forgot. Um, I like to use this bit if I feel like there's a little bit too much of a lip that I can't get with my hand file. And I feel like the rounded cuticle bit also will leave like more of a groove. So I go in with this ceramic like needle bit and just take like the little lip off of everything and then I buff. And this is the middle finger that I had to do a little patch on and fix because it was not shaped correctly. So yeah. Alright guys, I am going in with Gershon's top coat. I did use Gershon's base coat as well today, just to let you know. I will have everything linked down below in the description box so you guys can go find it. I buy mostly everything from Amazon and then if I do get anything from like Dipped and Pretty or Joyful Sparkles, whatever, I always link their IG or website down below. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna finish this top coat and then go ahead and put some cuticle oil on her. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. I appreciate every single one of you. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And don't forget to always put top coat underneath your clear jelly nails that you have to make them more crystal clear. Until next time, bye guys.